Welcome back to Everyday Kentucky. Today, Barbasol Championship and Caddy 127 will be distributing checks to their charity partners. And here with details on the philanthropic contribution is Darren Nelson. It's good to see you here this morning. Thanks for having me. Good to see you all. Yeah, so for those who aren't familiar, give us an overview of Caddy 127. So Caddy 127 is made up of six uh, charities from the Central Kentucky area, and they're all focused on empowering and supporting women and children. So we've got six uh, uh, charities. We've got uh, Woodhill Community Center. We've got the Make-A-Wish Foundation, All God's Children, Refuge for Women, uh, Kentucky Children's Hospital, and Sunrise Children's Hospital. Oh, or the, Children's the, Services, yeah. excuse me. A really good list there yeah. of uh, very needing, uh, uh, needy operations that are out there. Mm -hmm. Now, talk to us about the checks that you're about to deliver today. So we have some oversized checks in my car all loaded up. Our team's headed out today to deliver those. And uh, this year's total uh, that we're just announcing now is two hundred fifty thousand dollars. It's oh, going to wow. go to those charities for for this year's Barbasol Championship, and the total um, since the Barbasol started in twenty eighteen is going to be now six hundred and seventy thousand dollars to all those charities since the inception in twenty eighteen. That's amazing. Now, yeah. talk a little bit about what had the inspiration behind giving back through uh, Barbasol. So the PJ Tour is great. Their focus is to give back and have an impact on the local community that they host the events in. So there's only 47 PJ Tour events in the entire world, and we're lucky enough to have one right here in, in Lexington, Nicholasville area. So Caddy 127, the thought behind the charity is, as a caddy walks with a golfer during their round, the charity walks with women and children to empower them, again, in the central Kentucky area. So there's that connection with a caddy in a couple of different senses. So, how's it looking for next year? I mean, you're gearing up for it right now because you never stop, right? We don't. Uh, this is the fun time of year. We get to make a lot of charities happy, so it's our giving season. Uh, and we have announced next year's dates are July 13th through the 16th. So we're excited and already planning for next year. I mean, we were out there and we had such a great time, mm -hmm. and it's been great to see the impact of bringing the PGA mm -hmm. Tour here to the Lexington area. What are you looking forward to the most about next year? It's our fifth year, um, so we're just trying to grow the event. So the volunteers are growing every year. The sponsorships have gone up every year. Hopefully we get some good weather in 2023. Right. Um, but uh, we're just excited to host you know, Kentucky's only PGA Tour event right here in our backyard. So it's an exciting time for us. Yeah, I came out, uh, we were there Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Then I came back out on Saturday, and Saturday was the rainy day this yeah. year. So kind of a mess. But that's been par for the course, so it was weather. That's so. true. On Sunday, we were re rewarded. It was a beautiful day yes, on Sunday. Yes. We had a great finish. We had Trey Molnix, our champion. We crowned him. He made about a 12 foot birdie putt on the 18th hole. So it was a very exciting finish and we're still riding on the high from that from this past year. Yeah, for sure. Now, if people would like to donate or get more involved with Caddy 127, how do they go about that? Uh, you can go to barbasolchampionship.com. Um, you can find out all about our charities, all about Caddy 127. If you want to volunteer, we'd love to have you. If you want to be a sponsor, there's information on there as well. So we check it out at barbasolchampionship.com. All right. Well, thank you so much, Darren. And I can't wait to see the pictures from all those checks. Oh, yeah. I always <laughs> wanted a big check. I, I want a big check, I too. I know. It doesn't even have to be real. <laughs> and maybe I'll get that $1.9 billion. Yes. And I'll be a sponsor <laughs> for, for next year's barbershop. Sounds great. Okay, Hold him to it. Hold him to it. <laughs> thank you. Uh,